Welcome back to your High School and Beyond Planning Part 2. The first task that we'll complete today is your reality check. This will be found in the Career Planner app of your High School and Beyond plan. First of all, let's go ahead and navigate there. If we open up a new tab, we can go to the Google Apps and scroll all the way down to High School and Beyond. You can also get there through your Clever app. Once you're in High School and Beyond, you'll go to this page and you can enter the Career Planner by two different directions. One, you can check on the completion status and click the link from there. Or two, you can click on the Career Planning app, the green one at the top. Click on Enter. Once you're there, you'll have the opportunity to navigate and learn more about yourself. Click off to the side. Go down to Reality Check on the left side. It's the fourth option down. Click down and click on the Introduction. Here you can see that the Reality Check is an opportunity for you to state your preferences for where you will live, the level of education you plan to pursue, and the cost for the items you want to have and do in your life. After it all adds up, you'll be able to see the careers that will support your lifestyle at the education level you choose. Let's get started. Click first on location. When you're looking at location, it gives you options within Washington State. If you'd like to move outside of Washington State, consider which city might best fit the type of city that you'd like to move to. So let's see, for example, I'll click on Bellevue. Then you go ahead and click the next button for expenses. Here you get to decide what type of housing you'd like to have in the city you choose. You'll notice depending upon the city that you choose, the type of housing and expenses will either increase or decrease. Here, I'm going to select a one bedroom apartment. Once I'm done, then I can go ahead and click next here to move on to utilities. It'll give you average pricing and you can continue on through each. If you think you might spend more on one of these things or less, for example, I have my cell phone bill, but I might not need a, a telephone hard line here, then I can change this to zero. And I'll keep going. Then when I go down to dining out, combo plan, eat at home, or enter your own, I might choose a combo plan of dining out and eating at home. Next transportation, uh, maybe I'm looking for a medium car or in Bellevue, I might be looking more at public transportation. It's up to you. Next, we'll look at health and clothes. Uh, so for clothes, how often will you be shopping for your clothes uh, per month? Next is health. And here you can look at, are you buying your own insurance? Are you doing it through work? Or are you entering your own? Then entertainment. Do you plan to go out, uh, mainly hang out, whatever it might be? Personal care. Here you can look at other types of things that you might like to do. Whether it's coloring your hair, working out with a gym membership, haircuts, anything along those lines. For miscellaneous, these are other items that you might budget if you're going to go on a small vacation or anything else. If you have student loans or think you'll have student loans based upon uh, what type of investment you made, you can enter one of these. You'll want to think about how much you want to save per month so that you can save in case of a rainy day or in case of an emergency or unexpected event. The next is education. Click up in the top right. For education, how much time are you willing to invest in your education? It can range from a few months all the way up to five or more years. With the career that I was looking at earlier in computer science, I'm going to plan on four years. Next, I'll look at the occupation. So here I want to think back to what was the career cluster that interested me most when I was doing my original career exploration. 
or have I found one since that time? The information, the information technology was the career cluster I was interested in before. So I'll click on that and I'll hit next for results. Here I can see that if I were to live in Seattle, Bellevue, um, it, my calculated monthly expenses would be 5,709 and I need an annual salary of 68,504. Tells me how many years I'm willing to invest and what general career cluster interests me most. Here are a list of careers that can support that salary and those expenses. Here's a great opportunity for you to explore and see which ones that you're interested in or heart one that you have already found interesting previously. The, at this point, you'll go ahead and pause and you'll go back to your overview and you'll be able to check off each of these boxes that you were able to choose where you wanna live, calculate your monthly expenses, select your educational investment, your career cluster, and you're able to review your results. When you are done with checking off those boxes, then you'll be able to later check off the same box for budgeting with reality check in your completion status.